Hello friends. So a while back I posted a video on reincarnation <laughs> and I kind of titled it provocatively as uh, the truth about reincarnation. So somebody on that uh, video, somebody commented on that video and said, everything is a human construct, including reincarnation. So I agree that everything is a human construct. But uh, what I want to also share with is that even though everything is a human construct, everything that we know is a human construct based on uh, experiences and interpretations of experiences and modes of knowing, the human constructs end up becoming our lived reality. <clears throat> the world we live in, with all its systems and structures and experiences, is fundamentally, definitely a human construct. From the languages we speak to the laws that govern society, from the currencies we use to exchange value in the very, to the very concepts of time and space, all of these are human constructs. What do, I, what do I mean by this? All of these are human constructs and because they're human inventions, they're products of our collective imagination and agreement. Um, philosophers have said that the existence of institutional facts requires the existence of uh, human institutions and human constructs. In other words, things like money, government, marriage, only exist because we as a society collectively agree that they exist. They're not objective mind independent facts about the universe, but rather intersubjective social realities that we bring into being through our shared beliefs and practices. And this includes things like latitude, longitude, Greenwich mean time, etc. However, Human constructs become our lived experiences. And that's the fascinating thing, that once these human constructs are established, they take on a life of their own and become the very fabric of lived experience. The money in our bank accounts, the laws we follow, the identities we claim, these are all social facts that feel as real and immutable as the physical world around us. Even the physical world is a human construct based on perception, cognition, and even our body is a human construct. We are born into a world where these constructs already exist and they shape our perceptions, behaviors, and opportunities from the moment we enter society. The language we learn as children not only allows us to communicate, but also imbues us with a particular worldview and a set of cultural values. The general norms we internalize form from a very young age, uh, by the way, religion is one of them, profoundly influence how we see ourselves and how we see others. There's also, therefore, the power of shared beliefs. What gives these human constructs their power is the fact that we collectively believe in them and act accordingly. Money only has value because we all agree that it does and we structure our entire economic system around the shared belief that money has value. Laws only have authority because we as a society consent to be governed by them and enforce them through our actions. This collective agreement is what philosophers call regimes of truth. Michel Foucault called it regimes of truth systems of thought and knowledge that become so entrenched and naturalized that they appear to be objective facts, even though they're ultimately human creations. These regimes of truth shape not only our individual experiences, but also the very structure of society itself. <clears throat> the good news is that because human constructs are ultimately products of our collective imagination, they are also malleable and subject to change. 
throughout history, we have seen how social movements and revolutions have challenged existing regimes of truth and created new ones in their place. The abolition of slavery, the women's suffrage movement, and the fight for LGBT uh, Q rights are all examples of how human constructs can be reshaped and reimagined. By questioning the taken for granted assumptions of our society and collectively working towards a different vision, we can create new realities that better reflect our values and aspirations. Now, oh, here's the key thing. Because reincarnation is a concept based on human modes of knowing and experience, this too can become our lived experience, especially because the construct is shaped by the human mind, which is a modified form of non-local consciousness. So consciousness non-local outside of space and time. And the human mind can conceive of reincarnation, then it will perceive it as such as it recycles and evolves in evolutionary time, which is also a human construct. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback on this, okay? Reincarnation is a human construct, but can be a lived experience. Let me know what you think. <laughs>